So, violence and coarse language are the bread and butter for a lot of video games. Now, back in the early 90s, these sorts of games sparked a lot of outrage and concern amongst parents and politicians, and oh, how we laughed at them for being so damn uncool. But that was then, when blood was just a few red pixels or hazy textured blobs on the walls. Nowadays, we have bright red shiny blood with realistic physics and dynamic lighting in HD and 4K to really let us see the viscera. And quite frankly, it's disgusting. So let's take a look, or should it be a peek through shielded fingers, at some truly disgusting times in video games. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 OTT gaming moments too gross to handle. Number 10. Doom 2016. BFGs kill brain cells. Doom Eternal certainly had its fair share of wet and meaty looking deaths, but they happen so fast that you can worryingly get desensitized to them. But the final shot in the last boss battle of Doom 2016's iteration saw the the burly marine taking on the spider mastermind, which was a nice homage to the original entry. A quick dispension of justice is required, and what better way than with a simple headshot, right? But hold your horses, this isn't a run-of-the-mill headshot, no, no, no. Because if the brain in question is the size of a car and the shot comes from the legendary BFG, then you can expect quite a lumpy mess. It's very cathartic considering the player will have likely just been through hell and taken on quite a lot of challenging bosses and monsters. And because the spider mastermind is a particular big and tricky foe, well it deserves a big and sticky death. The BFG is shoved into its astonished mouth, which results in a huge crater in the brain, like somebody took a huge bite out of an apple, complete with pulsating rubbery pink clumps. Lovely. Number 9. The Sniper Elite Series – The Nut Shots have you ever wanted to see a very detailed x-ray video of testicles being shot from afar and seeing them subsequently explode on impact? Of course you have, you're only human. And when you've got a Nazi square in your sights, it's a hard thing to resist doing. But once you do, it's also hard not to wince a little. I mean, just look at how someone reacts when they see someone else get booted in the groin. The Sniper Elite series is no stranger to violence, as the game will let you see all sorts of damage that a sniper bullet can cause in glorious x-ray and slow motion. Bones splinter, eyes pop out and explode, internal organs are ruptured and mashed up, but it is the infamous nutshot that takes the grand prize. It's not just the pain associated with these kinds of injuries, it's seeing them pop like grapes which adds a slight comical element to such a horrific act. Plus again, your targets are Nazis, so it's extremely satisfying. Number 8. God of War Ascension, Castor and Pollux the God of War franchise has built itself a reputation for gory kills, and there certainly are a lot to consider. Kratos hacks and slashes, slices and dices, gouges, and just makes massive mess wherever he goes. Guts are spilled, organs exposed, and appendages removed, with no mythical creature or beast being safe from the grumpiest Spartan. Seeing him slowly rip off the sun god Helios' head while he's still alive in God of War 3 is an unforgettable sight, and definitely a serious contender. However, it's the often overlooked and forgotten prequel God of War Ascension where the violence was cranked up to 11. Just about everyone acts like an exploding bag of ketchup in these games, and while the boss battle with Castor and Pollux doesn't have as much of the usual gore and viscera, it is still pretty shocking. Portrayed as conjoined twins, Kratos splits them in two, leaving Castor to fall to his death. But the other half wishes that he was that lucky, because he's now left with only one arm and no legs to desperately crawl away with. And whilst begging for mercy, Kratos Kratos introduces him to his foot with a crunchy stomp. I mean, they may be awful bad guys, but it's still a horrific act that definitely scars the mind. Number 7. South Park The Stick of Truth Too Far South Park The Stick of Truth has some pretty gross stuff in it. Imagine that in a South Park game, what a shock, right? And one of the in-game trophies even announces that the following act was definitely taking things too far. Yeah, South Park's admitting this, so you know it's got to be pretty bad. So let's talk about how this game uses a brilliant parody of the overused Nazi zombies trope that is very embedded within video games these days and sets it during an abortion clinic level, where here the bad guys eventually become Nazi zombie fetuses. Okay, that's some pretty shocking and messed up stuff right there. But that's not all though, because lest we not forget, your character can fart at will. So after battling a Nazi zombie fetus, you can then go over to it and fart on it. Then you'll be awarded the trophy too far, because let's face it, you've taken things beyond the pale. 
Number 6. Resident Evil 7 – The Snake Key As the longest-running survival horror series, the entire Resident Evil franchise is riddled with stomach-churning scenes of gore. From the first basic zombie and zombie dogs, tyrants with their beating hearts on the outside, the first liquor, as well as the nemesis gradually turning into a big meat smoothie, there is a lot to fear in these games. Now, Resident Evil 7 is definitely one of the grimiest entries in the series and pays homage to a lot of horror tropes and franchises with so many terrible moments that will definitely bring your lunch back up. There are deathly puzzles to solve straight out of the Saw series. There's the infamous family dinner scene that mimics the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and an unfortunate cop who gets lobotomized with a shovel. It's all pretty awful, however special credit needs to go to the horrific act of plunging your hand inside a rotting corpse, which is the aforementioned policeman, via the neck hole in order to retrieve a key. It is disgusting. Number 5. House of the Dead Overkill – The Final Battle Right, so the House of the Dead Overkill is an on-rails light gun shooter that takes the guise of a pulpy grindhouse movie. It is chock full of strippers, zombies, zombie strippers, over-the-top gross-out humour, and of course buckets of blood. It is an exploitation game and absolutely wears that badge with honour. And by the end of the experience, players will witness the main villain turning his mother into a mutated giant monstrosity who serves as the final boss. And when she's eventually defeated, she lies on the ground like one would expect at the gynaecologists. And because this game fully embraces its exploitation heritage, the villain pleads with the player to allow him to redeem himself by blowing up his base of operations after crawling back inside from whence he came. Yeah, okay. The player thankfully is spared from actually seeing the image, but remember what they say about your own imagination making things far worse? Plus, the look on the main character's face, well that says it all. Number 4. Silent Hills PT – Sink Baby now, the Silent Hill series is full of ominous, chilling, and disturbing imagery. However, despite its brevity, it's actually PT that arguably left the biggest lasting impression on horror fans and the gaming community. The entire demo is just one big nightmare. Players find themselves walking around an endless corridor of the same house over and over again, with slight changes occurring that affect the gameplay. And you have some pretty obscure clues to solve some pretty obscure puzzles, and eventually you come across a not fully human looking baby covered in blood writhing in a sink. If you listen to the clues around the house, you're led to believe that this is the unborn child of a woman whose husband shot her in the stomach whilst pregnant. It's very upsetting for all sorts of reasons and definitely left a player feeling absolutely wretched to their core. Number 3. Dead Space 2 – Laser Eye Surgery Right, okay, I'll level with you. I genuinely hate talking about this entry because it still messes with my mind every single time we have to talk about it. I'm not even watching the footage right now, but I viscerally remember every single excruciating moment. So yeah, you know what I'm talking about. It's a giant needle to the eye if you get things wrong. It's horrible and I I, I, I can't deal with it anymore. We're moving on. Number 2. Outlast Whistleblower – Below the Belt now, if you haven't seen this, count your bloody blessings. It cannot be unseen and you will want to put a cast iron skillet over your groin forevermore. Now, the Outlast series may seem to have been made by folks who hate the idea of you sleeping soundly ever again. I say this because the heavy reliance on darkness and night vision filters gives everything a very distinctive and eerie look, and the series managed to make itself stand out from the crowd, with games like Resident Evil 7 even attempting to imitate it. However, it's got to be the castration scene that takes the rather stumpy biscuit here because here the player gets to watch another character being tortured, which kicks things off with a butcher knife right to the meat candle. Thankfully, the scene is blocked from our view by the assailant, but you know what? It doesn't matter. The harshness of the action, the sounds and screams all build a very clear image in our heads. Now, there is more horrific torture and death to follow this event, but at this point, who cares? You're never going to uncross your legs right now, right? Your character at one time almost meets the same fate courtesy of a circular saw, but thankfully is saved at the last minute. And number one, the Mortal Kombat series, Every Death Ever. Ah yes, the troublesome, ultra-violent franchise that started it all, or at least is one of the major popularizers. Additions like the very bloody X-ray moves have been added to the games over the years, you know, to make it more kid-friendly. However, it's the finishing moves that the series is known for, and every fighter comes with two extremely violent ones. People have been cut in half only to have their innards eaten as their top half crawls away, cavities have been created in order to serve as a new entry point for a gun, the resulting shot to the skull making the victim's eyes explode and even hats are used to cut people clean through the middle. Hats, I tell ya! 
What's remarkable though is that the Mortal Kombat developers have been able to think up so many ludicrous, itchy and scratchy like deaths for each character. Thankfully, the series' friendships have also become a staple, so you can always instead play with a toy train or dish out ice cream amongst the other pleasantries should you feel the need, and trust me, after witnessing some of these, you will definitely need a breather from the violence. And there we go, my friends. Those were 10 over-the-top gaming moments too gross to handle. I hope that you enjoyed that. Is that the right word for, for the content we've been speaking about today? I hope you got something from it regardless. And if you want to chat to me further, you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice, where I do all of my streaming outside of work, and it'd be great to see you over there, my friends. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. We detailed a lot today about over-the-top moments that were just way too gross to handle. So let's end things with a bit more positive Activity by reminding ourselves that we are massive ledgers, that we deserve all of the best things in life, like love, happiness, and success, and do not listen to anything or anyone else that tells you otherwise, all right? I want you to go out there and smash your life goals today, much like we saw some of these people smash skulls in half. Ah, oh, I'm thinking about the gross stuff again. Big love to you, my friends. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.